Good morning. It is the penultimate day, day six of a week on ten a day, and it's time to get an uninspiring breakfast. You're about to be shocked because boom, boom, boom. Oh wait, you're not shocked at all, are you? Probably shocked at the out of focus shot that I just delivered. What sort of amateur hour is this right now? Basil is giving me lip in the background, even though he's, he's got his breakfast, he's just a little shit. So um, I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and probably shove the camera in his face because um, he doesn't like that, does he? Back to our regularly scheduled programming, although I suppose Basil is regular programming for a lot of you, um, much better than this anyway. This is one of my five a day, um, slash ten a day. And this, is, this doesn't have the nice logo, it's just got a square box, but, you know, we'll make do. Quality content. That's nice. That's very nice. I'm gonna have some more. Just as I try to film, the bin men arrive. So I have had a busy morning. Grace isn't here, she's at work. I am not. So today I'm, uh, well, currently I'm, I'm watching YouTube, but I have been um, working hard on other stuff, on my uni work and on my writing and on my YouTubes, uh, which is, is good. So, yes, I'm currently um, watching, that, I mean, she's not really a small YouTuber, but I'm watching Alison Pregler at the moment with her Superman 3 review, although I'm not currently because I'm talking while it's on in the background, but uh, links in the description. This this whole small YouTube thing's gone out the, the window, but here's a bunch of YouTubers I like this week who aren't massive. There we go. <laughs> Um, so maybe tomorrow's won't be massive, I don't know. So, um, yes, I, um, 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 I need to do some housework as well, because the house is a tip, because Basil is a dirty boy, and if he's not shedding his hair everywhere, he's going in the litter box, getting the stones in between his toe beans, and then just going flick, flick throughout the house, so there is, there is stones, pissy stones and shitty stones all throughout the house, so, cheers, Basil! Ooh, somebody's not happy. Bye. Whew, after all that, I've certainly worked up a hunger. So, for lunch, I've got char-grilled chicken and courgette with a shredded broccoli and a creamy basil pesto sauce. It sounds and looks delicious, because I learnt uh, on a previous week on, I can't exactly remember which one it was, that I, um, I really do like courgette, which is, of course, courgette turned into... Sp to purchase, to purchase, turned into spaghetti. I could refilm this but I'm hungry, so I'm not going to, it's only going to waste time. So, um, look at this, two of your five a day, or two of my ten a day, is it's actually going to be. So I am excited, I am very excited, so I'm going to stop wasting time, and I'll get this in the microwave. So while this does its thing, I'm just going to have another glass of, um, oh, hello my groin, another glass of uh, pineapple juice. I know I said I had a lot of fruit juice yesterday, but, um, whatever, it's nice, so... Yum! It may not look like the most appealing meal in the world, but believe me, this thing smells really, really good. And it's only a bonus, I suppose, that it says two of my ten, so... Mmm. 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 It's really creamy. Obviously, it's an overwhelming vegetable flavour as well. But as I discovered during that week on, where I had homemade courgette. It's really good. Actually, I'm going to try some. Let's try some of the chicken. Ooh, that's soft. Hmm. Wow. Get off. This is a really, really nice ready meal. And it's uh, only 233 calories. Bargain. Two of my ten. I, um, this is good. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go eat this. I'm not gonna stand here. Hmm. Now it's time for a little bit of laundry. I am such a domestic god. Hey, Bazzy. Do you like the nice clean carpet that you can dirty up? Yeah? Yeah, well, Gracie is on her way home. 
you'll be pleased to know. Yes. So we're uh, we're gonna get some dinner soon. Cause I'm getting hungry again. I am. Yes. Hungriness. So um, we're gonna try something that we've kind of seen on Facebook for dinner, but never actually made. So it could go horribly wrong. Stop dirtying my carpet. So for dinner tonight, Gracie, we are having pizza. Yummy. But how, you may ask, are we going to be getting our veggies? Or at least, how am I going to be getting my veggies? It's not by simply putting some veggies on top of the pizza, no. It's with this, which... Ball um, of a ball of leaves. Somewhere within this ball of leaves is cauliflower. Yes, we are going to make a cauliflower crust pizza. Yum. Don't hold in too Sorry. too much excitement. <laughs> Stifling a cough. So um, we we yeah, it's going to be interesting. We need to whiz up some cauliflower, then we we mix it together with some egg, some cheese, some seasoning, and then we bake it. I'm not going to taste that cauliflower at all then. Well, I I kind of <laughs> hope not. Cauliflower is not my favouritest thing in the world. Oh, I like cauliflower. You do. I, I'm more of a broccoli fan myself, but we're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna we're gonna see. So um, open mindness in this. Oh my god, I can't talk. Well, here's our cauliflower rice. It's been in the microwave uh, just to steam a little bit, and now we're gonna have to drain it of all its fluids. Delightful. So then we can replace it with more fluids. That makes sense. What are you doing? Do you want some cauliflower? Yeah. You want some cauliflower? Yeah. Boom! And there is our cauliflower, which has been sucked of all its life. So now we add these few ingredients. That's two cauliflowers. That is two cauliflowers. It's gone to nothing. So the first thing my glamorous assistant is going to do is add an oof. That will work as, I guess, a binding agent. I guess so, yeah. Take your time. There's no rush. Okay. It's I only YouTube. What am I supposed to do? A fork? Then, then you add salt and pepper. Oregano. When you're ready, no rush. This is still. You haven't even taken the thing off! That's your fault, you got this ready. Finally, some oregano. And the surprise ingredient some cheese. Is that enough? Maybe, yeah. Leave. Yeah, we'll okay, just check that in while it's. What ends? Then you just uh, mix it up, bind it into a dough. This is gonna. This is not gonna make much. <laughs> no. Here's one greased up pan, and there's our cauliflower dough. So now, basically, we just, um, or Gracie at least, shapes it into a pizza. Is this gonna stick to the bottom? I mean, we've greased it, <laughs> so I hope not. This is not gonna make much. How is this two cauliflowers? <laughs> How would you like this as a thin crust, or? Well. <laughs> Maybe. A lump of cauliflower there. I think, I mean, you don't want it too thin, do you? That's probably going to be enough. Yeah. It's not really pizza shape, though. <laughs> no. So now we're going to bung this in the oven to crisp up for like 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, what? And then we put the toppings. And then we, and then we put on the tomato sauce um, and, and our toppings. And then we eat it and we will go hungry. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Are you ready for this, YouTube? <laughs> prepare, prepare yourselves for this, because we're going to be, have, be the ones eating it. <sighs> Dear. So. It doesn't look good, does it? That's a cauliflower crust. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it too. So um, we're going to try and make the best of a bad situation. <laughs> so it stuck to the pan. It did. Even though we greased it. It did. Um, and we've kind of rescued it, but there has been a bit of an accident. Yeah, you can see where it's... Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> just being honest. Just glue it up with the uh, the tomato. I did just have a teeny bit of the crust that had broken off and actually... What? It tasted really nice. Oh, really? So it's going to taste alright, it's just not going to look particularly pretty. Yeah. And there's not going to be very much of it. No. But it is going to be two of our five a day. Um, and I don't feel like it's going to taste like pizza at all. Well, but maybe a little bit. I think it'll taste nice, just not like pizza. Yeah, so here's, here's some cheese. Just dump the cheese on. Why are you being so slow? I'm making it look as nice. It needs all the help it can get here. 
It's a mongrel. It needs putting out of its misery. No, you have to give it tender love and care. <sighs> Come on. Here we go. Put now this. Now the <laughs> Italian antipasto delicatessen selection. Which which is my off? Which is your off? Does it matter? No. What would you like on yours? That basically. Just this. Oh, just you do it. I'm. I don't care anymore. I me. It look. It's still gonna taste nice. Yes, I'm sure it will. But I'll just mix it up nicely. <laughs> it, it smells all right. I think it's gonna taste nice. Now that actually you've put that stuff on, it looks pretty good. Yeah. So, you know, See, looks that's can because be I put it on nicely. It, yes, maybe you're right. I'm definitely right, always. Me, well, back in she goes. A few more minutes just to get the cheese gooey. Are you ready for a masterpiece? Mm hmm. Well, too bad you're not going to get one. I actually think that looks really nice. The crust I mean, it, and, has really started to go yeah, though. It's not the prettiest and it's not pizza shaped, but it looks tasty. It is certainly a thing. So if you wouldn't mind doing the honours. God, it's soft. It, mm -mm. There's this, we're going to have to eat something else because I thought it was going to make two pizzas. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh god, it's soft. Oh no. Ow, it's warm too. I think we're going to have to use a rope in the bottom. Yeah, let's, um, that's probably sensible if you wouldn't mind. Kind of a bit, oh no, no, it's going to just taste like cauliflower, isn't it? <laughs> ah. Um. How is it? Doesn't taste like pizza. Does it taste like cauliflower? A little bit. It smells like cauliflower. It's like cauliflower cheese, basically. Mm. Let's try some of this crispy crust. Yeah, it's odd, isn't it? Mm. You want some of this crispy bit? Mm hmm. I. Mm. I think it's. It's nice enough that you can eat it, but for the amount of faff. And washing up. Oh my up god, the hassle this thing time, took to make, and look took, at the result. It's not worth it. It's not. I'm gonna, I mean, I don't know if we did something wrong or what, but it isn't worth it to do it again. No, I, I am not sold on cauliflower crust pizza. Plus, you'd need like four cauliflowers just to feed two people. You would, which is kind of a waste, mm -hmm. I suppose. But I mean, this is this is four, so it's going to be two each, or two for me, you're not doing it, but. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to need one more thing to take me up to ten for the day. But, I'm, yeah, I'm a little disappointed. It's going to be all right. We'll finish it. I suppose. <laughs> but, boo. The first time I've ever said boo to pizza. Oh, right. Bit of a mixed bag of a day, really. really kind of disappointed about that pizza i was really excited i was i was thinking i was gonna be a convert and it was gonna be the best thing since sliced bread but alas cauliflower pizza is not only a lot of work it's a massive hassle it's not even that good it's not, it's not worth the effort so i am disappointed so what did we have today i had two lots of pineapple juice for breakfast with an apple a banana, then I had more pineapple juice, then I had my courgette meal for lunch, the courgette and chicken with broccoli, and that was very, very nice. Obviously, it was heavy on the vegetables, flavour-wise, but that's because it was heavy on the vegetables, so it makes complete sense. Then my cauliflower pizza, well, you know how we feel about that. Uh, which leaves me at nine, and I have a banana here. However... I can't, it, it's like seven o'clock now, I can't say, I'm not going to eat anything else, I'll report if I do either later or tomorrow, so it depends on what you see, if the next thing you see is my conclusion then I'll tell you tomorrow, but um, if you want to see how I get on, 
then uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. If you want to see the final day before everybody else, uh, you can support the show on Patreon. And it really does help to support the channel because um, YouTube's going down the pan, ain't it, boys? So, yes. Um, or you can just like the video, share it, su support me on social media, follow me on social media. I mean, you can support me if you like. You can tweet me and go, yay! I would love the support. Or my book, Viral, is available on paperback and ebook. Links are all in the description. But thank you very much for watching day six of a week on ten a day. I feel like it was a strange day and the weeks got very samey. I've already run out of ideas. Will I be able to pull it back for day seven? Probably not.